I haven't dropped a vlog for a while. There are a few reasons. I'm living here at a friend's place. It's about 10 kilometers outside of Stalabos. And it's in the security complex. So one of the reasons is I'm kind of running out of subject matter. So if I want to go and record a topic, make a vlog about a town, I have to get there. I don't have transport. I don't always have the money to use public transport to get to a place so I'm not sure what to vlog about around here because I did the strain which is close by and I can't think of another town for a decent subject that's one thing the other thing is I am preparing for a gig combined with an exhibition of my art I'll put the details below you and check out the website so I'm doing that as well I need to get an income as well so far I haven't been monetized this channel is growing so slow. I don't know why, because I see a lot of videos that are pretty shitty. I get so many hits, and I think I'm doing a pretty okay job. But anyway, here's what it is. So, I have to go do the show in Wellington at the Breitenbach Center, where I'm doing the spoken word, original poetry, and songs. Yeah, poetry and songs. And uh, a few covers I like. A bit of readings, a bit of music, and I will display my art. It's one of the things I do. At the moment, I can't spend that much time on editing and vlogging. I have to focus on the show. But I'm going to try and squeeze in the vlog here and find something around this area for you to see that I can show you. So, welcome to this vlog. I wasn't going with the exercise routine. Well, I'm enjoying the exercise. It's going pretty well. There's this gym here. At this place, which is a big bonus, but struggling with the diet, man. I just don't have any self control. If there's food in the house, I'll eat it, and I eat a lot. So I'm training a lot, but struggling to lose weight because I just like food too much. So. I'm sitting here with Cornell, I'm staying here now, and like I said earlier, I need to do a vlog. It's Saturday, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. And I don't know what to do, I need a subject, so Cornel is googling now. Or, I don't know, why are you googling? No, I'm chatting. He's chatting with like, people. But then, then he's gonna google, and we're gonna find a subject to vlog about in the area. We're just outside of Stone Boss, about 10 k out. So, it's like a funky little town, a lot of stuff happening on a day like today, so I'm sure we're going to find something. And we'll go there, and I'll show it to you. Okay, so I'm googling markets in Stellenbosch. Does that make sense? I'm not so optional, we can just say whatever happens in Stellenbosch, and then we can decide. decide, decide. Okay. Blau Clipper Family Market. That's not bad. Okay, we're doing a Blau Clipper Family Market. This is the vlog about Blau Clipper Family Market. See you later. So this is my latest project. I want to launch a rocket in Verniakpan, which is a very desolate, arid place in the Northern Cape of South Africa. So I'm looking for people to join me. We're going to build a rocket, launch it up in the air. Doesn't matter, even if it only goes 20 minutes, who gives a shit. Then afterwards, we'll have a party celebrating all things that fly, just for fun, because Life is short and sometimes you just have to do silly shit for fun. So if you want to join the, the ASNA party, go to the website. Contribute. I'll build a rocket. We need scientists, DJs, organizers, people with money to sponsor this project. Let's do this. <laughs> Here we are at the Blau Clippen family market in the beautiful wine lands of Stellenbosch. I'm just gonna do a walk through, through the market, cut it up a bit. And uh, so far, not many people, and they're playing some shitty cover version of one of my least favorite <laughs> singer songwriters of all time. Uh, but hey, fuck, backing tracks, not my type of vibe. 
facade, you can make up your own mind if you like it or not. Let's go. Let's check it out. about your soul right I, yes I, I use 11 different types of pencils okay. in making the drawings and my favorite channel is National Geographic is this your wife yes this is my wife where are you guys from I'm from Zimbabwe and if they want to search you online what do they search people we have the we are on Facebook what's your name Kruger Pencil Art Great man, thanks. Yeah. How's it going today? Uh, no, it's quite well. Oh, it was, it was, it was quite, but no complaints. Good. So far, a lot of clothes, a lot of clothes here, and I'm wondering if they will have some kind of cool drinks here because hot day, sunny day, um, shitty music to be honest, uh, <laughs> a bit quiet, but it's always a drink or two to save the day. You know what I'm saying? We make polymer clay earrings. My wife and I make everything together. Yeah, yes. cool. Just <laughs> so everything's handmade. All right, yes, it works. Yes. Uh, well, we live in Strand, but basically uh, we're in the house of Berkeley. What's your name? Where can I get you online? Uh, my name is Mark, and you can find us at Sugarbush Handmade. Cool. Thank you. Always leather bags at the market. So, here's some more leather bags. Where does that come from? What inspired you to have the name for Gorgeous Nuts? Gorgeous Nuts. Because some girls call me Gorgeous Nuts. <laughs> you want to tell me about your product? It's going to tell you about the product. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to try some Gorgeous Nuts. Yeah. Wonderful nut in the world. Good just nuts. Oh, just nuts. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Tell me about the nut. Uh, our nut is very perfect. It's very nice. And uh, yeah, okay. we make all flavors. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Alex, gorgeous. Alex has gorgeous nut. <laughs> Alex, let's go. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I feel like I've worked really hard now. Like it was one of the hardest, most hardest seven minutes in my life of work. And uh, there's a beer on the table there, so <laughs> I need to take a break, man. I'm sweating over here. <laughs> what beer is this? I, I saw Paul Reuter. He told me that that's the best beer. What kind of fucking best beer on the market? Do you really give a shit? Well, I do. Not really. I just want to get pissed. Cheers.
so it's all very organized. We've got the food court here, and then we have the place of the booze, my favorite place where all the beers are sold. And then we have the food place, so it's pretty organized. Beautiful trees, beautiful lighting, uh, beautiful space. But uh, let's go check out uh, the, the food. We've got to eat Greek. Uh, yeah, let's see what food offerings they have here at the Blau Klippen Family Mall. Coconut. Coconut. Explain, explain your coconut. Okay, so this is the coconut water, right? So you're gonna do it while we're Okay, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Go there. Okay, so this is the coconut, right? So what we do is we chop the coconut open, right? With the beautiful panga that we so bigger than my, my own hand, right? Um, once we chop it open, you get the coconut water, which is on the inside there. And from there on, we do add a pina colada if you do want to. That's non-alcoholic, by the way, right? And What's the point in having a non-alcoholic yeah. pina colada? <laughs> wow, well, we are kids friendly. <laughs> but I mean, so kids can have their own coconuts, and uh, adults can have their coconuts. Like, I know. So we, 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 we do we do uh, recommend them to go to the bar, yeah. right? So you can always get a. So I can get my coconut and pour a lot of rum in it. Yeah. Up to you. Right. Shopping, it's hot. What's your name? Kasim. What's your name? Legacy. And where you guys from? Legacy. I am from Burundi. Thank you. I come from Angola. And the coconuts are all the way from Mozambique. Hi right, sir, what are you doing? Um, I'm a uh, jam um, oh, no, cheese jam. You're like a jam master? Yes. So you make it all yourself? I make it myself. Cool. No added preservatives. Less sugar than normal jam and the taste is out of this bowl. Cheese jam. So you have the Greek here yeah, and the Mexican on this side. All very international. It always has to be a hot sauce, right? So there's a hot sauce here. I think it's a hot sauce. Hi, right, tell me about your products here. Okay, what you got is uh, Portuguese style chili sauce and marinated. Um, lots of wine and vinegar. We've got four different flavors here with the exact same amount of chili in. The two at the end don't have an added flavor as such, but they got more chili in. Okay. The small bottle being a ghost pepper. Ghost pepper is like hot water, right? It is hot, but I've used a lot of restraint there, so it's not over the top, but it's still packed with flavor. I'm not a chili head or anything, but uh, I'm going to try the hottest one and see if I suffer a little bit for your entertainment. This is the hottest one. Yeah, what should I take? This one here, grab a piece of bread. Ghost chili, ghost chili. I wish this a lot. I wish this like. That should be fine. Let's see if I get any pain, adrenaline, shit going here. Tastes good. Citrusy. It's a, it's a fruit that's different from these chilies here because the heat will come through after a second or two. A lot. We're at two seconds now. The heat is coming through now. I can still speak. It's not incredible, it's more about flavor. Good flavor. It's not so hot, my sauce is hot though. <laughs> my sauce is caramba, I'm like caramba hot sauce. I've been enough time without doing that, so I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes very good. Now we've got like for the healthy vegan people, they also have something here. Like, I just see a lot of fruits and stuff. You know? Can I put vodka in it? Hmm? Can I put vodka in it? If you want vodka, I can make plain orange. Uh, put plain orange and put vodka in it. Because mm. I don't like to be too healthy. I know, I thought so. But, uh, let's do the next call. Uh, this is like gin cocktail. So we 
transition from food into booze. More <laughs> cocktail stuff. Do you want to tell me about your store? I'm not shy. So yes. I'm, I'm Krista. I make all the cocktail syrup that I use myself. And 99% of the things I use to make it with, I grow. Really? So yeah, most of my cocktails I make started in my garden. It's just basically me, a spade, all in the ground. You like uh, me, you like a cocktail, a good cocktail. I love a good cocktail. Uh, alcohol, and I, it's good. Yeah. And I couldn't find the stuff I love in the shop, so I just make it myself. Amazing. Is this the only place people can get your cocktails here at the market? This at morning? this market at the moment, I have an online store where you can buy the cocktail syrup and do it yourself. But as far as markets go, this is the only one I am at the moment. So that's a short cocktail and food section. And then we're back to the normal stores. It's just like, yeah, you know, the stores. Check it out. of food and a little bit of cocktails and stuff and there's a lot of other stuff going on it's even a place where all the kids play because it's a family thing and they actually put a lot of effort in building the kids playground there it seems like they put up some effort and money in there but let's go check out the booze place my favorite place the booze place Actually, it's not so set up. It's, this is not only booze, it's beyond food as well. So everything is mixed. I thought this is the booze corner, I thought the food corner, but everything is kind of mixed. The booze and the food anyway. So, Afro Chicken Shop, let's check this out. So, what makes your chicken special? Well, the different sauces that we presented with. Um, special chickens as well? Are they like... Yeah, uh, it's local. <laughs> I thought you meant. Yeah. What's your name? Elsa. What do you want to test it, test it? What do you want to say to the world? I'm just to say about our bakers. We have a nice bakers. I promise you, if you buy one bigger, next week you buy four. It's not by force, but our bakers. But I'm already and fat. Our I'm so fat. Okay. What is your bun? What type of bun is it? I want to know. Is it like a brioche bun or is it like a normal bun? Is it this one? It's a normal bun. You. Okay. This is the bun. Always we use it. Okay, it's a nice bun. If you want to take it to the next burger level, you must do a brioche bun. It's not a Portuguese roll. Okay. It's a normal bun. Right. Sure. But it looks good. Back up. Back in my booth. Back in the place of the booth, my favorite place. I have to work, so I can't hang out all the time. Can you also pour me something, please? Uh, I don't know. What is the booth beer? Is it good? Yes, it's good. Why is it called the booth beer? Uh, it's a green company there. What's the strongest? Let's go for the strongest, bank for bucks. Obviously spent a lot of time and effort investing in the infrastructure of this market so there's play parks and stuff for children and uh, yeah it's a lot of money spending here to make sure people are happy and it's a nice place so it's pretty cool so if you're in some of those area come here and if you have a family of kids that like to play and while you drink a beer have some food um, this is not a bad place it's pretty cool Idyllic almost. Beautiful. Yeah. The 
there's another area here. So I think you can easily put a thousand people here. And there's enough play areas for kids and adults. So another play area, another chilling area. Let's go check it out. What type of food do you make here? Okay, so it's for Giovanni's, so we specialize in pizzas and pasta mostly. So, and we've got, also got some ribs, some lamb shanks, and everything in that direction. And your pizza basis, do you make it yourself here? Yeah? We actually make our pizza basis ourselves, yes sir. And uh, what's the other thing you said, your pizza and? Pizzas and pasta, that's our specialty. Yeah. And I think this is another restaurant or wine tasting area or whatever. So you've got the adults and the children and they kind of like make the space for everybody to have a good time. And the surroundings are like fucking immaculate. Check it out. And they have a lot of art in the garden as well, so seeing that I am an artist, a full-time artist, it's always nice to see that people spend their money on art. market side of the place so as I'm walking in here if I carry beer let's see how far I get before they chase me out but it's very arty very beautiful very well done very stylish and why is this <laughs> fuck it's like paradise man expensive art around here, very beautiful and if you want to be bored really bored in a lonely way a nice board they've also got a beautiful boardroom here um, otherwise I think we're done here more or less Whew, what can I say wine art food noisy children <laughs> it's all a bit of a heaven hell here we go man So I've just been cut out severely by the manager of this space for taking video of this space. So um, I'm very angry. I'm just taking a, doing a vlog about the space, showing it to people. 
and she just came here for the stern attitude. It's like, please leave the space. You're not allowed to take video here without permission. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you people, man? I'm promoting you. <laughs> I'm sharing your space. Lighten the fuck up. It's one of those typical Stella Boss wine farm places. Beautiful venue. Obviously good wine. Uh, lots of like <laughs> people sitting around and having fun. Like I said before in a previous vlog, like Stella Boss is like a, a place unto itself. It's like a unique little magical space where you can get lost in for years, decades. And I'm sure some people for lifetimes. School cool though. The errand says Umkris, Um means uncle in Afrikaans. So I'm not that young anymore, so that's starting to happen. It's been happening for a while actually. We need another adventure. Hope you are doing good wherever this finds you. Come on, grab a guitar, grab a castle, put on your pluckies and take us on another journey. How about taking us to visit the elusive... Let me just put the reed morphine on here. Hippies in Tsitsikama Forest. Damn, that would be a good video. All the best. Uncle, cheers. Yeah, I'd love to go and do more vlogs, but I am not monetized. So at the moment for me, vlogging is just costing me money in the transport. And... Uh, time in uh, you know it takes a lot of time to do this it takes a few days to edit it uh, to shoot and edit a decent vlog so uh, hopefully at some point i'll get monetized and i'll get some income and i can go do more vlogs and i can go where i want to but i'm far far away from that i'm uh, an artist i don't have a full-time job besides doing this uh, so yeah it's not a i can just i can't just jump in a car and go and do vlogs unfortunately not yet but i'd love to go and do that it's a good idea zeken double four one three says i wear us i love your videos and i hope the 24 is as wild and free as it gets sure, what does that mean just a thought what with, what with South african new zoll laws you should focus on that a bit more there is a huge legalized move in the world at the moment, but at the places that place, places that are going the way we are going with the heavy regulation models, where is South Africa is now more wild and free, and I really think it would be interesting to take in a depth an in-depth look at what is evolving there. Anyway, brew all the best. Sorry, I read it maybe a bit bad, but Zekin reckons I should do more about the marijuana. That is a topic I would like to address when I'm back in Transkei, because there's still a, that is traditionally a zoll growing area in South Africa. And uh, yeah, if I can get around to doing that, I'll definitely do that. But in the meantime, I still have, I do so many things at one time. I have music shows, I have art, um, I have all kinds of projects I'm doing, so yeah. But thank you for the comments everybody and I will see what I can fit in and I will vlog when I can as much as I can and in the meantime thank you for subscribing and commenting do it more share the vlogs let more people subscribe and then I'll eventually get to a place where I can actually make a bit of money while doing this and sponsor other vlogs an exercise routine for this vlog I'm not recording live you will just have to trust me that I did it because I don't like videoing myself exercising in the gym. It just feels awkward and weird. But I did an exercise and it's going pretty well. Exercises, diet is still a problem. But uh, I'll probably do another one or two body transformation videos. Then you'll see how much I progress. But I think I'll, I would like to keep the exercise routines a permanent part of these vlogs because I like exercising and I think it's important to exercise and keep yourself healthy, especially as you get older.